So these are all the pieces that make up the drawer. And that's what I'm starting on next. And I'm using the rotary welding table. We're gonna, we're gonna make use of it and get this thing welded together, all right? I went ahead and I dressed everything with uh, the grinder, just kind of polished it out just because all this is bare metal and started accumulating a little bit of surface rust on everything from sitting around here for a little while. So anyway, let's get started on it. All right, we're going to start getting this thing clamped together. All right, so this is the side, there's the bottom, and the bottom is going to sit on top of the flange there. And we are going to pull this front flange right here, my hand is, we're going to pull it up uh, flush with each other by using these clamps right here. Here's the back piece. Again, the flange is going to go underneath it, so let's see if we can. Underneath, and we want the flange to the inside, just like that. There we go. Yeah, it looks like everything's fitting up nice. I need to verify that it's 10 inches, and it is 10 inches there. I'm going to make sure this is square. I went ahead and checked everything. We're still good on our 10 inches here and here. We got another fireball square in the middle just to help assure that it's nice and square there. Just the weight of the clamp is, is sitting flat on the bottom. So Paul says to tack it on the back here, on the inside of the flange, you go ahead and get uh, four tack welds, two in the back, and then we'll get a tack weld here and here as well. And then we'll fit the front of the drawer. Good, 10 inches. And your 10 inches on the back there. Really liking that finger switch. We got the drawer front face. This is the handle, it's gonna face out. And it's gonna sit flush to the bottom. And we want three eighths to each side of it. And then what we're gonna to have to do, we'll get one set and uh, get it clamped in. We'll just clamp it like this lightly. We just need to hold it together. All right, we're looking good right there. 
We got our 10 inches, okay. All right, so now we need to get inside here and go ahead and get it spot welded in there. It'll be flush to the flange on the inside there. I just blasted it at the center of the hole and stuck the filler in there, dabbed some, and then walked it around. We'll do that. It's going to be tricky back there. It'd really be easier with a, a MIG welder in the back, but I'm trying to do it all with the TIG. Go ahead and get this other side here. Right, it's working out. So the little technique that I tried that I actually was working, I was taking my tungsten and finding the center of the hole and then bringing it up just a bit and then I just blast it. As soon as I started, I'd fill it with some metal and it would just seem like it would all just flow to the edge. It's working out really good. front two here. Now we get to do the easy stuff, plug welding where it's easy to get to. So I verified my width again, and it's still 10 and 10 on the width, so we're good to go. Just gonna start filling these holes up.
we're going to go ahead and get the, the rails bolted on here. And I, I slid them out from the cart and brought them over here to put them in the course, corresponding position. It should be just like so. And what we'll do is screw goes through. Well, first of all, I need to, I need to see which bolt hole. Is, okay, so it's the slots. It's the vertical slots. Let me just go ahead and get that one in right there. I'm using these gloves because of the grease. <laughs> these things are actually pretty greasy, these, uh, these rails. goes through from the outside in and then the nut is on the inside there. So they have a bit of an adjustment there. I'm going to try to eyeball the center of the slots and see if that will work there. Okay, all right, let's go see if it fits now. Look at that, man. It fits. <laughs> oh, I didn't get this one in all the way. Well, what did I do wrong there? No, nope, I didn't get that one. So let's start over. There we go. Okay. There we go. Well, now, now it's, <laughs> that first time going in was a little bit stiffer than that right there. All right, so we go in, there's the lock. Fantastic. That is awesome. It's got a nice feel to it, man. Very cool. I'm really excited about this right here, man. It's starting to look good. Paul's making me look like some kind of fabricator over here. <laughs> but it's all coming together good, man. Paul, man, you make a good a good fitting product. You know, once you, you get everything tacked together just like you should, man, that's great. <laughs>